Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup, where we break down the latest in music and culture. Today, we're diving into Uncle Luke's fiery reaction to Latino voters supporting Donald Trump in the recent election. The hip hop legend did not hold back, and his comments have sparked a major debate. Let's unpack it all. Grab a seat. This one's intense. Uncle Luke, known for his controversial takes, called out members of the Latino community for voting for Trump, despite his history of anti-immigration policies. In a scathing Instagram Live, he said, and I quote, all y'all who didn't vote for Kamala, y'all stupid ass gonna get deported. He even drew a hard line saying, there's no more black and brown unity, it's just black. How about the mass deportation? I got my popcorn for that. <laughs> they say all you, all y'all who voted, all y'all who didn't vote for Kamala, y'all stupid ass gonna get deported. <laughs> they having a damn parade. It what it what it was not a parade. They all having marches and shit already. We are not going out there to march. Black people are not going to march for you. I'm sorry. We will not be marching. It's no more such thing as black and brown people. It's black. We will not be marching with you. I'm sorry. If you you hey look the line got drawn last Tuesday. <laughs> The line got drawn last Tuesday. We already know where we stand with all y'all. Black people know where they stand with white women. Black people know where they stand with Hispanics. We thought y'all were our friends. We thought Nesta and Julio Ramundo and Nesta Torres and all y'all. We thought y'all was our friends. Y'all go through some things. We be out there fighting and marching and shit, man. Leave Nesta Torres alone. Leave Julio Ramundo uh, uh, the moon do alone. Leave them alone. Those are our people. And then you do this? Huh? Oh my God. Julio Ramundo. Now we're going to be sitting there. Now you got to worry about the little old black ladies who sitting there looking out the window, <laughs> calling the people on you. Hey, Ice. They're going to be singing the song. Ice, Ice, baby. Do 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 that's a major statement from someone who's been vocal about fighting for marginalized communities. What do you think? Was this too harsh or simply the truth? Now, let's put this into perspective. According to Reuters, 46% of Hispanic voters cast their ballots for Trump this year, a big jump from 2020's 34%. This has shocked many, especially considering Trump's controversial comments about Mexico and Puerto Rico in the past. But it wasn't just Latinos who were divided. Within hip hop, reactions were just as split. While Uncle Luke made his frustrations known, artists like 50 Cent and Lil Pump showed support for Trump. 50 Cent even joked, I don't care how the fight goes, I'm leaving with the winner. And Lil Pump, he outright mocked rappers who endorsed Kamala Harris. Yikes. This clash highlights a deeper issue, the divide within communities of color. Uncle Luke's comments reflect a sense of betrayal, especially since black activists have historically stood with Latino communities during their struggles. He even joked that ICE might be the ones to sing Ice Ice Baby now. This raises a big question. How can communities move forward when there's such a clear divide? Is the unity Luke once spoke about completely gone? Uncle Luke's comments may have been harsh, but they've sparked a necessary conversation about accountability and unity in times of political tension. So what do you think? Did Latino voters let Uncle Luke down or is he overreacting? Let's discuss in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more deep dives into the biggest stories in music and culture. Until next time, stay informed, stay engaged, and as always, keep it real.